Hey everyone, Josh here. So we're just doing a quick video on tuning this Passat, the CKRA Passat with an MR tuning tune. Um, so the plan here is that we're gonna do a little loop. I got a little kind of around the country block that I usually test vehicles on. So I reset the average consumption. So we're gonna go for a quick little drive. I'm gonna drive it the same before and after. And we're going to just kind of see the drivability, power, fuel consumption is the main thing that we're kind of worried about here. So I'm going to go out to the road and see what happens. Okay, so we're about 10 kilometers in this little drive loop that I usually do. Um, consumption's been dropping. It's down to about 7 liters to 100k. Um, the long term was 6.6. .6. Uh, so this is a pretty easy drive. There's not much stopping, anything like that. <coughs> So we're just going to do a quick uh, 0 to 100 pull here. Um, I've got a draggy, but I didn't want to go through all the work setting that up. So we're, I'm just going to time it. I want to go to edit this video and put a 0 to 100 there. Um, and then we're going to do the exact same loop after it cools down and everything, after the tune goes on, and we'll see what it's like. So. difference to the consumption here but I'll do the exact same drive loop with half the tune so we'll see what it's like um, but yeah I'll finish this recording when I get home there just got home um, so 6.6 .6 is the average it was kind of bouncing around 6.5 6.6 .6. so 533 trip so I think that was about 15 kilometers round trip um, that's all country roads so it's about 100 kilometers or 60 mile an hour roughly a um, couple stop signs a stop light nothing too big so it's really if you're the fuel consumption that's about as good as you're gonna get besides I guess being on the highway and drafting people or something like that um, but yeah 6.6 .6 is high enough um, that was the average before I cleared it I know this car does a lot of country driving so that's makes sense that that's the same as what it was before but I'm gonna bring it inside and do some repairs and then uh, we'll see what it's like after the tune. So to tune this Passat through uh, MR tuning, which actually most, if not all um, companies that do the tuning, they use a PowerGate uh, 3, which they call like Flashzilla, Q-Loader, stuff like that. Um, so it's all made by Alien Tax PowerGate. They're just uh, rebranded. So it's your own personal flasher. It's locked to your vehicle once you use it. Um, it's got an OBD2 plug that plugs into there. So basically you go to your car, you pull your original file off, and then whoever you use for tuning, which MR tuning for this one, they send you a program. And basically you download the data, which I've already done it. Once it's downloaded, you send it to him. He does the tune and sends it back to you. So now you download it from the internet or from your email and now we're gonna go to upload data um, let me see what it saved oh there we go so it is in modded file open from upload, yes. So now it's putting that file onto the loader. So I'll do this, show it some screens there once we get this file on, we'll flash it to the car. Okay, so we're at the car, got the battery charger on, the uh, e-brake's up one click, so the headlights are off. Um, so now, let's do it in here so the glare's not there. Go to tuning. Yes. So you can do the original file or your stage two tune.
I'm just going to sit here and think for a bit. So I'll just skip fast forward to the end here. So basically it says uh, tune and complete or complete it successfully, something like that. Uh, turn the key off and unplug the power gate. So that should be tuned to whatever tune that you set it to. And uh, now we're ready for a drive. Okay, so we're going to go for the exact same drive, reset it. Temperature's identical to yesterday. So I'm just going to go do a little drive and then we'll do a quick video back where I did the pull and then final impressions, I guess. Okay, so back at the same spot here again. I hit the exact same red light. So it's identical driving. It's a touch cooler today at 17. I guess the shop was a bit warmer. Um, but so before we were at seven, liters to 100 kilometers at this point right now we're at 5.2 as you can see so we're gonna do a little pull and then uh, see what it's like when we get back to the garage here so that's a little more peppier um, I just left it in drive mode same as before and it chirped the tires pretty good uh, so yeah, it's a little peppier down the bottom. Um, I guess we'll see what the 0 to 100 is, and um, I guess we'll compare it after I get the editing done. Okay, so since we had a side-by-side -side comparison with stock versus tuned here, uh, I had a part where I just talked about fuel mileage, like consumption differences and how long for the payback, stuff like that. Uh, there was a lot of numbers and it was kind of hard to follow. So I was going to try doing a screen recording and using paint because I'm not a graphic designer, but paint was getting a little frustrating and taking forever. So we're not going to use paint, but we're going to use Google Sheets. Where'd everything go here? Oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, spreadsheets here. So I realize we're using the on-screen consumption, which isn't the most accurate, but I'm more or less comparing the before to the after and not the actual number itself. Uh, it's still a bit of a flawed system. Uh, the car was getting eight to 900 kilometers before the tune and it's getting 11 to 1200 after. So the stock tune was 6.6 .6 liters to 100 kilometers, tuned was 5.2 doing that same kind of the loop that I did in the video. Um, I put about 50 kilometers more going into town, which I called hype, which is hypermiling, I don't know, driving reasonably. It was 4.5 liters to 100 kilometers, so that's getting into nice uh, consumption for TDI. Um, I'm not going to compare that one because that wasn't really, can't really compare it because it wasn't the same. Um, so as far as miles to the gallon, so US miles to gallon, that was 35.6 before, that was 45.2 after, and driving reasonably was 52.2, so pretty big gains. Um, I didn't do the math on what he was actually getting after driving for a while, but yeah, quite the difference. Uh, so when I was doing this video, diesel was $2.35 a liter, which works out to $8.89.5 a gallon. Um, so stock, that is 0.1551, so basically 15 and a half cents per kilometer. Uh, the tune was 12.2 cents per kilometer. Uh, if you go to miles here, so that's just shy of 25 cents a mile, and that's 19.6 cents per mile. Um, so that's decent savings over the lifetime. Uh, so the tune, the power gate, and some other maintenance goodies were $1,400 Canadian. Um, if you're saving 0.0329 cents per kilometer, it would take 42,553 kilometers to pay back that tune, which in the grand scheme of thing, that's pretty low mileage for TDI. You'll cover that 10 times. So I think the tune was definitely worthwhile compared to the kind of the gains, the power, mileage, power, stuff like that. Um, so as far as freedom units, that comes out to 26,465 miles for the payback. 
um, which is pretty short. The one main thing here is, especially in the States, you guys don't pay this price. Uh, we're taxed a little heavy, more heavy in Canada here. Um, and even us, so we're not at $2.35 when I'm making this video right now. Uh, when I filmed it, it was $2.35 a liter. It's now down to $2, so that's obviously going to extend that. So now we're going to be 60000 something like that. So you can just kind of plug and play your numbers in there and figure out if that's uh, kind of your payback. Um, but as far as the drivability, it was definitely worthwhile. It's just the icing on the cake that it pays for itself pretty quickly. So yeah, I hope this video kind of helped uh, decide whether you wanted to tune your car or not. And uh, yeah, it was just a fun comparison. So thanks for watching.